Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, for this video I've decided to do a quick item and that's creating pop-ups for YouTube. Now I have done this before um, but I felt like I had to redo this completely. Now what I'm creating is pop-ups for various logos and um, obviously notifications for the users or the viewers. And in this case I'm just starting here with a blank, a bubble blank which will be the backdrop for all of the um, logos. And I'm just going to assign a bone to the bolt, and that's going to be the center of this bubble. Noting that that will make my bubble controllable with the bones, uh, moving, rotating, and so forth. Um, I've done the same here for the uh, the banner or the back of the banner or the back of the text as a white backdrop, and I'm just assigning a bone to this uh, entire link. Uh, not necessarily needed to to, to um, add a bone to the entire length. But I've done this for my own reference, so that when I am un animating this and the image is switched off, I am aware of what the current size of that um, backdrop is. Um, now I've got a few additional items to add here, that is the text and the logos. And for the logos, I am adding a separate bone that will allow me to rotate and move and scale it um, independently from the back backdrop, the bubble uh, blank image thing. Um, I've placed it a few times there, unfortunately, but um, once I've got the position finalized, I can see that it's renamed to Twitter logo, and I'm just going to rename it to something generic like the logo. I'm just going to drag from the scene panel on my armature um, screen, I'm going to drag to various logos, it's for Line, YouTube, and Patreon, just towards that bone, so that it pines towards that bone, so that when I am animating this, they get controlled as well. I'm going to switch them off um, because I want to add a text as well. And there's four text items for this. I'm just going to add a simple uh, bone there. It doesn't have to be quite big. It's just for reference. It could be a dot if you are comfortable with that. And then again, um, renaming, renaming that to something generic like text and adding the rest of the images on top of that bold. After that, I've got two items left, that's social and Poodle New. Poodle New is my um, channel logo, so I'm just adding it onto that bone. And the social four was just a completed version of this, um, so that when I import it, I could match it up um, quite nicely. Um, I was thinking about adding a inheritable control or this, this um, enabling it, but uh, for this, it was probably better to leave it on like I did. Okay, so now I can move on to the animating of this. Um, I just got to quickly reassign the parent of that logo bone towards the um, what's that bubble blank bone so that it moves to with that. And then I can actually start with the animation of my um, pop-up. So first of all, I want to start it on the left here on the zero frame with the bubble blank to a opacity of zero. So I'm just going to drag that um, slider down to zero for the image itself. Notice that if the image is selected, the property panel will show those properties um, relevant to those images. Um, afterwards, I will make it bounce to the right of the screen. So this is going to be um, final resting frame on 24. This is just preliminary. I will change this as I create the animation itself. And on this 24 frame or the last frame, the bubble blank will be at a 100% um, uh, transparency. Well, not 100% transparency, zero but it will be 100% visible. Um, okay, so I'm just going to speed this up. I don't need to show you guys every step I've created. Um, the animation process has been showed on the various tutorials, tutorial 1 to 8 with the various tools assigned. If you guys would like to learn that, you can go ahead and go view the, those uh, videos I've created previously. What I was busy here, um, as you can see I'm playing this back a lot, was just making sure that the bounce of that bubble looks realistic or authentic and I've played a lot with that using the rulers available within Dragon Bones, a very useful tool um, to assist you designing your animation. Uh, once I got it finalized I could look at my logo as the first appearance, the Poodle logo, and then once that fades out I could have added um, the banner back, the white screen which the text will display on, and then I could look at the text or the logo of um, Twitter or uh, YouTube or Line or Patreon and rotate it in as that 
slide that pops out. So it's just to make it more realistic. And once this is done, you guys can see the finalized product. Um, there was a lot of tweaking involved, um, a lot of small changes that I had to apply to make it look authentic or realistic in that sense. And this was more, more of a, I just uh, played around until I was happy. I didn't set out that this is what I'm going to create. I actually created the images and I didn't know what I'm going to animate. And uh, I just let that happen as, as we go along. You also notice that now I'm about 130 frames, much bigger than the 20, initial 24 frames. That was just to ensure that those images or the pop-ups stay visible long enough for the users to actually read or see it. So once I was happy with that, um, you guys can see it's quite a, a smooth animation of that bubble um, hopping to the right of the screen, the Twitter logo rotating, the banner coming out with the text, and then rotating again with the banner going away. Um, I did create a copy of this and manipulated the images to show the line um, pop up. Um, so what I'm going to show you guys here is just what process I followed to actually alter those animations with the new images. Just noting that the various logos and text is on one bone specifically, so the movements and the scaling, um, you do not need to worry about. Um, the text was a bit off-center, but uh, I left it like that. Just simply right-click on line and set in clone. Um, I can actually start with the next um, animation, which will be for Patreon. So first of all, on the timeline, I'm going to find an initial point on where my line logo appears. And on that, I'm going to switch off the line logo on that specific point and switch on the Patreon logo. Just going to make these bones visible. Um, so that I can actually pick them on screen. So on that point, I can switch the line logo off and then switch the Patreon logo on. Uh, just noticing the logo didn't switch off the line, so I'm going to have to tick that off again. That's fine. It's a minor thing. And then I can actually look at the um, transparencies for these various logos. Now, in order to view when those transparencies were supplied, I can actually go select um, or expand the various logo items and you can see with this purple markers there on the timeline those are when the opacity changes so I'm just matching it up with the Patreon logo for 0 to 100 the rotation I didn't have to change anything that was on the parent bone for these images so that stays constant um, throughout the animations as I copy them out secondly what I need to change here um, once I'm happy with the changes on this side, is the banner back, or the backdrop of the text in, oh, sorry, not the banner of the, um, the banner back, the actual text itself, and it also fades in. Additionally, I have also have to switch the Patreon logo off just to make sure it disappears off the end of the screen with the banner, uh, the bubble back. Looking at the text here, we can see it, uh, it uh, fades in, so I'm going to switch off the line text and switch on the Patreon text and just uh, um, change the slider there to zero on that purple marker. I think I've accidentally selected the bubble pack. Yes, I have. And I'm just going to switch to Patreon text, change the alpha to zero on the same location for the previous text and on the same location for that person I'm adding it on. Noticing on this point, it fades away as well, so I'm just going to mark that 100 mark that zero and the rest of the animation should be fine there shouldn't be any changes applied because the original bones and timelines associated with the bones has been copied out towards this one it was just the images i needed to update and as always if you guys like this video please hit the like button and if you'd like to see more please subscribe